Today, we will talk about how to burn paper safely. Let's have a look at the details. Anytime you start a fire, you're at risk of potentially catching nearby structures and other objects on fire. If you've chosen to burn paper rather than dispose of it in a different way, make sure that you're not putting nearby structures at risk. To burn unwanted paper products safely and to avoid risk to both yourself and the atmosphere there are a handful of different methods you can use. The most important point is to burn the papers in a contained space where the blaze won't spread. The first method is choosing an outdoor burn site. Check local laws and HOA guidelines before burning paper. Depending on where you live, it may be illegal to burn even a small amount of paper outdoors. Additionally, your homeowners association may prohibit burning paper, even if it's technically legal. Look online to find the contact information for your county government, and call or email to find out if you can legally burn paper. Use a stone or metal fire pit to safely burn the papers. A fire pit is one of the safest spots to have a fire. Dig a hole in your yard to prevent the blaze from spreading. If you don't have access to a fire pit, the next best option is a hole. Use a shovel to dig at least 6 8 inches 15 20 centimeters into the ground. Once you've burned the papers and disposed of the trash, fill the hole back in with the shovel. Purchase a burn cage to burn papers if you're concerned about safety. If you have some spare cash and want to make sure that the fire you're using to burn papers won't spread, try using a burn cage. Build a bone fire to burn the paper if you need to burn large amounts. If you need to burn up several reams worth of papers, a large bone fire may be your best bet. Burn papers in a BBQ grill if you only have a handful. If you have a BBQ grill, that will provide all the heat you need. The second method is managing outdoor fires. Choose a humid, wind-free day to burn papers outside. If you burn papers on a windy day, embers could blow off of the burning sheets and into surrounding trees or grasses. Set a fire extinguisher within five feet of the fire location. Even if you're only planning to burn a handful of paper, you need to have a fire extinguisher within reach. Fires can quickly grow out of control so it's important to have an extinguisher nearby to put the fire out. Clear the area of other flammable materials. Start a small wood fire before you begin burning the paper. Paper burns out quickly, so you'll need a few logs to be burning before you add the paper to the fire. Feed the sheets of paper into the fire one or two at a time. If you drop a whole stack of papers into the fire at once, it will likely extinguish the flames. Stay nearby and keep an eye on the fire as the papers burn. Dispose of the ashes once the fire has burned itself out. Pour the burned ashes into a trash can or a compost bin. And, the third method is burning papers indoors. Fill an indoor bathtub halfway full with cold water. If you live in an urban area and don't have access to a fire pit or other outdoor burning facility, you may be forced to burn papers inside. The best place to do so is over a bathtub. Burn four or five sheets of paper over the bathtub at a time. You can use either a butane lighter or wooden matches for this. Ignite the papers four or five sheets at a time by lighting the edge or corner with a lit match. As the papers burn, hold them over the water. That way, if the flames get out of control, they'll drop into the water and be extinguished. Dispose of any floating bits of paper that didn't burn up. It's unlikely that all of the paper will turn to ash. You'll probably be left with a few small pieces of charred paper floating on top of the water in the tub. Scoop these up with your hands and drop them into a trash can, rather than letting them get pulled down the tub's drain. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.